Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org. At the last Can Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, I had a chance to talk to Dan Clark from Mr. Speakers. Now, what Dan does at Mr. Speakers is he takes this, the popular affordable planar magnetic Fostex T50RP, modifies it extensively, turns it into a headphone that he calls the Mad Dog. I'm going to let Dan tell you about the Mad Dog. We also had a chance to talk to Paul Berg from Digizoid. Digizoid makes the Zo2 personal subwoofer. Now, as you can see, it's not a subwoofer per se, but it's a very cool device that I'll let Paul tell you more about. Finally, we talked to Tony Landry at, at Exit Level Audio. Um, Exit Level Audio makes the Annapurna. It's a high-end tube headphone amplifier with what has to be the single largest volume knob I've ever seen on an audio device ever. It's a very cool amp, and Tony is going to tell you about that. So check out the interviews with Dan Clark from Mr. Speakers, Paul Berg from Digizoid, and Tony Landry from Exit Level Audio. We're with Dan Clark of Mr. Speakers at Can Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest 2012. We're looking at the Mr. Speakers Mad Dog headphones, which are based on the Fostex T50RP. I'll let Dan tell you more about them. Dan, tell us about your headphones. Super. Uh, I do two things to modify this headphone. The first is I make extensive comfort modifications. I have a nice lambskin ear pad for comfort and a leather head strap that spreads the weight of the headphone across the skull. So you have a ability to listen for hours and hours without getting hot spots or discomfort. The other thing that I do is modify all the internal dynamics of the phone to make sure that the transient response is nice and fast and to really get more extension out of the bass and treble and make it a really nice balanced full range headphone. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've heard it briefly and it sounded good. I think it was pretty popular here at the show, but I'll try to spend more time with it next time. Uh, but uh, how was the response been? Was it a good show for you? Very much so. Um, I had one journalist came by and he put them on and he said, that's a lot of headphone for the money. And what's, what, what, what's, what's the money again? What's the price? $314 for the fully loaded headphone. Fully loaded, $314. Well, thanks, Dan. Dan Clark, Mr. Speakers, the Mad Dog, based on the Fostex T50RP, extensively modified. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. Hi, we're here at the Digizoid exhibit, Can Jam at RMAF 2012. Uh, the Digizoid products are very, very popular on Head5, but I wanted Paul Berg uh, from Digizoid to tell us more about the personal subwoofer products. Uh, that they make. So Paul, can you tell us about this? Because actually I've never used uh, any of your products, so I, I want to know about, more about sure. them. Sure. Um, the Zo2 that we call a personal subwoofer actually isn't a subwoofer speaker. It's uh, an electronics device and it simulates the sound of a subwoofer, but it's all analog circuit technology. It's not a digital DSP. Um, but using a right combination of components, energy delivery, we're able to reproduce on small speakers, such as those in headphones and in-ear monitors, down to 30 hertz, with very good distinction, clarity, uh, without interfering with the mid-range and the high range, like some bass boosts do. But in addition to that, uh, we also do some time domain um, separation of frequencies, such that it simulates a room acoustics, like you're listening to a stereo system in your home. Um, that's just because with headphones on or in your monitors, you can't get that. But electrically, we can do that. So you get good sound stage, um, good openness. Uh, you can pick the instruments out, that sort of thing. So it's, it's different than a typical bass boost, clearly. Uh, it's entirely different than a, a typical bass boost. Uh, we're able to deliver much more energy, give you that, that feeling that you get when you're in a room with a subwoofer, you turn it on, make the hair on your arm stand up, give you goosebumps, make you want to dance around in the room, and it's, it's fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I was actually uh, surprised to see how popular it got on HeadFi. Obviously, HeadFi is very hi-fi related uh, or hi-fi type listening, um, but yet they, a lot of our users seem to really like it. So I haven't tried it yet. I'll try it uh, hopefully today. Um, That's possible. <laughs> but now tell me, because uh, I don't actually know the answer, is it, an, is it a headphone amp? Do you use it in conjunction with a headphone amp? Uh, how is it used? Yeah, well, it's, a like I said earlier, a sound enhancement device, but so that it's compatible with headphones, it does have headphone drivers on the output. So much like a headphone amplifier, you know, you can amplify, actually it's about two and a half times the uh, volume output and sound output from a player. Okay, so if I wanted to, I essentially could use this as the headphone amp in a portable setup. That is correct. All right, Groovy, I'm going to have to try it because now I'm looking forward to hearing what everybody's talking about on HeadFi when they talk about this. Paul Berg, thank you very much for talking to me. Thanks, Jude. Appreciate it. All right, it. man. Thanks for exhibiting this year. All right. 
Hi, I'm Jude, and I'm here with Tony Landry from Exit Level Audio. Um, you're new to the business, right? That's correct, yep. And he's here, starting with a bang at Can Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest 2012. Uh, Tony, this thing's a beast, starting with that volume, <laughs> look at that volume control on that. But uh, can you tell us what this headphone amp is? Sure. It's, a, uh, it's based on a Emission Labs 20B tube. Uh, I use that because it allowed me to not use a driver tube, so I can pretty much control the sound just by using a, an input transformer. So it's transformer coupled input and output. Uh, the topography is extremely simple and uh, all, the, all the amps will be custom made and uh, there are other options available. It can come with or without a volume pot, but basically it's, it's an, an extremely simple design but with very high quality parts. Um, what is the price point of this one? Uh, this one comes in at fifty nine ninety five. Fifty nine ninety five. All right. And um, again, what? I, I apologize. I missed it. What are the two? What's the tube complement again? The tube complement is uh, Mission Labs twenty B tubes, and the output transformers are custom made uh, by Jack Eliano there in uh, Electroprint. And what, what's the what's the middle tube? That's the rect that's the rectifier tube. Okay. That yeah. That's just a GZ33. All right, fantastic. Uh, did you have specific types of headphones that this was geared to drive? Uh, what do you use? I see a Sennheiser HD800. Um, what should we know about you know, headphones to use with it? And does it have a name? Uh, the Annapurna. And it's, uh, you can look it up and see why. Yeah. Uh, it has multiple taps. The one tap on the front is 300 ohms, and the amp was tuned using these HD800s. That's my personal favorite, so I tune it for that. On the back, there are multiple taps on the uh, output transformers for 32 and 75 ohms. Uh, when it's ordered to be built, it can be built with multiple taps, for, but it can't do IEMs, you know, one ohm outputs. But basically, it's custom for anyone that wants, and I can boost the power for uh, other, other headphones, but it's got two watts output. Well, thank you uh, for telling us about the Annapurna, cool name, uh, from Exit Level Audio. This is Tony Landry. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, guys.